And today we're going to be attending a Catholic festival here on the La Rambla, but we still have some time to kill before it starts, but we're going to check out this local market. The festival still hasn't started, so we're gonna go check out that church over there. Now this church right here is called the Church of Bethlehem. It was built in 1681 in a Baroque style, but unfortunately the entire interior was burned during the Civil War of 1936. Right here we have a replica of the famous Black Madonna of Montserrat. As you can see from this procession of horses behind me, today is no ordinary day here in Barcelona. In fact, today the city is celebrating the Festa de los Tres Tons. This colorful parade has been taking place in Barcelona for almost 200 years, but the tradition dates all the way back to the 15th century. It is part of a week-long festival honoring Saint Anthony, the patron saint of animals and is held every winter on the first Saturday after his feast day. The festival commences around 11.30 outside the St. Anthony Catholic School, where a local priest blesses the procession animals, after which point locals line up to have their pets blessed, while the procession continues down the city's famous La Rambla. Despite its name, there are no corpses in this procession. The phrase Tres Tomes actually translates to three walks, because historically, the parade would travel the same route three times, though these days the procession takes just one route. And since it only happens once a year, make sure you schedule your itinerary accordingly.
This towering monument we see right here was built in 1888 for the Barcelona World's Fair. It honors the great explorer and conqueror Christopher Columbus, and it was here at this very spot that King Ferdinand and Queen Isabel greeted Columbus upon return from his voyage to the New World. And it is a wide-held belief that the statue is pointing towards the direction of the New World, when in reality it is actually pointing in the direction of Constantine, Algeria. That's for you. That's yes. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. Get close to the windows. From the moment that La Finestra is plow. Well, if you don't want to for six euros, you can take an elevator to the top of the Columbus Monument and get a great view of the city. Uh, I Excuse me. Where is the National Palace where we were a few days ago? Mm -hmm. On that strange looking promenade you see right there is called the Rambla del Mar. We have a bunch of West African vendors set up all along the promenade here, selling everything from shoes to electronics. I've been in Barcelona for a few days now and I get to see the beach, so today I have a bit of time, so I'm finally doing that. It was built between 1710 and 1746 in a Baroque style. This building you see behind me is the Church of Santa Maria de Montalegre. Completed in 1902, it is an excellent example of a modern day church built in an old Gothic style. We're going to the back streets of Barcelona. Now as you already know, we won't be seeing any Gaudi architecture on this trip, but really you can't come to Barcelona without seeing at least one modernista building, so I've come to the Palau de la Musica. This elegant concert hall was designed by local architect Luis Domenec y Montaner and was built between 1905 and 1908 for a local choral society.
the Ram Gluck can get the crowded in the evening, but luckily some of the restaurants have these tents, so if there's no room, or even if you prefer, you can eat in the tent in the pedestrian zone. Oh, we opted to go for Turkish today. And as you'll quickly discover, when it comes to dining, everything in Barcelona is big. And I do mean everything. We're gonna check out a bit of the Plaza Catalunya and La Rambla at night. But you just said that in English. Huh, I don't believe this. It's almost 8 o'clock in the morning and it's still dark outside. What the fuck? Oh, early morning on the La Rambla. It's 8 o'clock and it's still dark. <laughs> So what I've been having for breakfast. These pizza baguettes and this fancy hot chocolate. I didn't film them for an obvious reason, but I just saw a group of Muslim women in Bonica. competing with Uber. So basically the entire taxi service in the city is shut down. You can only use public transportation or a private driver. Not sure how long it will last. Hope you will be able to get to the airport to make it home. But it looks like they've gathered here at the plaza for some sort of demonstration. Look at this, they just block the road with their taxis and they don't care how tourists are gonna get home. That's Barcelona hospitality for you. Tourists should boycott them now and not use any taxis when they come here. Since the taxis aren't running, people have to take public transportation to the plaza and then drag their suitcases through town 
to their hotel. Kind of funny but sad at the same time. <laughs> the, the taxis are striking and now the bus from Plaza Catalunya to the airport has been cancelled. This country is unbelievable, ridiculous. So I have some good news and some bad news. The good news is we managed to arrange a ride to the airport. The bad news is it took us the majority of the day to do so, so this day is pretty much a bust. So we're not gonna be seeing anything new and we're just gonna walk around the city for the rest of the day. Well guys, it looks like our journey through this fascinating yet complex city has finally come to an end. I have to be honest, I never had any interest in visiting Barcelona as I always thought it was this modern art city with very little history. But the city turned out to be far more interesting than I ever imagined. Prior to my visit, I also heard stories about Muslim immigrants attacking people and killing off the local culture. Although there is lack of assimilation and the city did suffer a terror attack which did cause some changes, I didn't experience any hostility the entire time I've been here. And as I discovered throughout the course of my journey, European culture is still very much alive. In the end, a series of unforeseen circumstances allowed me to experience a side of the city few tourists ever see. So the next time you're in Barcelona, don't be afraid to venture beyond the major tourist sites. It'll be an educational experience you'll never forget. Segur que tomba, tomba, tomba i ens podrem allir.